Hello, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here, of course, in the Great War Redux mod playing as the Russian Empire. Last time, we fully resisted the Duma, and right now we are focusing on orthodoxy, autocracy, and nationality as we have barely gotten into 1912. Uh, let's see, Re revolution will begin if the Duma crisis isn't prevented, but we did prevent it, which will be great. We get the Russian Revolution. Ooh, that does not sound good. But we do get about one and a half political power a day. We have Logistics 1. Uh, yeah, I did say last time I try want to try to use signal companies. That'll be good. And there's quite a few comments we need to address first off. Regarding Intelligence Agency yesterday. Actually, let's just see. We can afford it. So, uh... I asked you guys what our intelligence agency name should be. We're definitely going to use this one. Imperial Special Chancellery. Well, historically it was called Okrana or something like that. But someone also suggested a few other names. Specifically one like Russian Undercover Secret Service Intelligence Agency to spell Russia. Uh, I actually really, really like that one. But I guess just for now we'll just go with the Okrana. Just to be a little historical. Even though I like, I really like that Russian one. The, the R-U-S-S-I-A. I think that, that was really, really smart and good, but... Unfortunately, we can only choose one name for our agency. It is what it is. And are we still mobile? Oh, still getting that? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's see. We have, yeah, nothing but battleships. How great. Cool. Next up, um, if people still want me to play other nations, I totally will. Uh, just, it takes time. So, Ottomans, maybe even China, Italy, France, maybe, maybe not the UK, maybe America, maybe not. Maybe plays Mexico. Does Mexico have a unique focus tree here? Uh, it looks like they do not. That'd be cool if you could, and then... Oh, there they go, white piece out. Uh, play as Mexico, and then accept the Zimmerman telegram. That'd be kind of cool. But we'll see what happens. Call the dude back. Well, we can wait. Uh, partial mobilization? Thank you, yes. War economy would be nice, but we're not proto-fascists or communists. Excavation 1 is done. 1914 stuff. Fuel and oil? We should be good on fuel and oil for a while. We probably don't need that. Hmm, subbies. Should we get some subbies? Should we not? Maybe just get some carriers. Hmm. Oh, you know what? We do need to do this one. We go down our land auction, actually. <clears throat> Large scale warfare? Yes, please. Let, let's let time go on. Only three research slots, which is. Yeah, it's okay. Russian Revolution. Okhrana. Very nice, very nice. I don't want to spend too much on this stuff. Let's go and form a cryptology department. I still want to keep building us up. I mean, still pretty early game right now, which is good, so. Uh, you guys are still building. Ah. So, the Russian Revolution. You did everything for the opposition to raise the rebellion in order to overthrow the monarchy of Nicholas II. Your threat... Oh, we completely changed our flag. Oh, wow. Good job, Nicholas. There was another comment from yesterday also stating that we should remove all negative modifiers or national spirits from our country, which we will try to do. So we'll get rid of outdated railways, Agarian Empire. Ah, that hurts us a lot. Wow. Tsushima Humiliation. If we beat Ru Japan in a war, that should go away, technically. Hopefully. Maybe, maybe not, though. We'll see what happens. Let's see. Military exhibitions. I see research, and I want to say, give me that, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, get some equipment or volunteer army. Oh, that looks good. Way less division training times. Recruitable population goes up by 5%, and 33% more recruitable population factor. Oh, manpower less than 1,000. Uh, and volunteer only, too. Mobilization law goes to 1%. Uh, emergency conscription lessons, lessons of war. Well, right now, we can do United and Indivisible. Uh, reunite white generals. More research speed. Treaty of three emperors. Authority. Russian Empire is influencing our politics, which sounds like fun, because the Germans went democratic last time. Return of the king. Entente will be known as Brotherly Alliance. Colonial claims. Back to America. We want to do that, probably, eventually. Oh, the UK even gets claims on New York and New England? Jesus. That's cool. But I do want to get research slots and build us up as fast as possible. Ooh, one, two... Let's go with Kazan Powder Factory. That looks pretty good to me. Next up, we're going to grab... Resources are pretty good. So we don't need to change out of export focus yet. Industrial concerns? Well, that looks pretty good. Uh, that looks not, that's not too bad either. Uh, motorized infantry equipment production. We might do that. Deuce? Dukes? Huh. Aircraft design offices. Naval stuff might be good. Ooh, that's bad. Baltic shipyard? No thanks. No thanks. No, 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 no. This is probably the best thing to do. And tanks? We do want to get tanks. Let's grab this first and then do Tula Arms Plant. Produce guns even faster because the 77,000 gun deficit is kind of a lot. And there goes the Republic of China. Now, 
given up to the Republic of China. I love the Republic of China. Let's see. Uh, let me see. Oh, also, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should use tactical bombers or close air support. While there's support for both, I think since we want to go to war with Japan, and then maybe America, maybe the UK, we'll see what happens, I don't know. Uh, we will use tactical bombers in this campaign instead of close air support, even though close air support does have its advantages over, you know, everything else. Uh, base strike. Oh. I'd like to do that. We don't ever use howitzers because they're not really that useful. And regarding tanks, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should use tanks and or armored cars. Let's put it And the consensus was, well, there's support for both, really. But I decided that we are going to use tanks. Not armored cars. Armored cars, when I try to play as Germany, I try to do armored cars. Their armor is just too weak to be really of any use. Because infantry already... Ooh, Olympic Games. Infantry already gets, like, some piercing and they would already be able to pierce the cars, so you might as well just wait and get tanks. Research this stuff, of course, but you might as well wait. So you guys, you looking good? Right now, 30 a day? That's not bad. Not great. Support companies? That's actually pretty good. We definitely... Definitely need to get more towed artillery. If I try to put another guy on here, I definitely want engineers, recon, logistics, recon armor, cars. Uh, we can't really afford that yet. But that's another comment from yesterday that you guys asked or told me that I should use 20 combat with 7 2 infantry divisions. So 7 infantry battalions, 2 artillery battalions. And while I usually use that, in the Great War mod, usually the AI attacks your line so harshly that it doesn't matter too much. And honestly, I don't have the artillery for it. I would. I might do it later. But it takes so much longer to build artillery than infantry equipment. So I think it's just best to wait. Uh, we can get more oil, but we really don't need more oil. We need to get down here. So let's get ammo, because this can wait. Uh, Moscow Automotive Society. Very good. Very good. Grab some more of this. It's a nice 50%. 50 uh, but yeah, I, if maybe later in the game we will switch to that type of template where we have seven infantry battalions and then two, no, seven, yeah, seven infantry, two artillery battalions. We'll see what happens. I have no idea. Cool. Words are hard. Mm, both of these are garbage. I mean, that's good for screens, but it hurts our carriers and heavy attack for capital ships. I'm just going to go with that. We're getting quite a bit of political power. One and a half a day is really not that bad. We have a very good amount of stability. Like, I love resisting the Duma because we got so much stability. You know what? Just call this guy back to you. Another field marshal. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Let's grab that too. And we still have three three lines going at the same time. I love it. 70%. Where's my 50% at? Uh, put you in the Ukraine down there. Anywhere else in European parts of... Oh, 60% right there. Nice. Obviously, we're going to have a little bit of a problem if I keep building civilian factories and not leaving room for military factories. Well, that is really bad when it's all 0%. But there's a lot of... They are not our core states yet. They might never become core states. And that's why we need to remove... Oh, uh, yeah. Agrarian Empire. So, let's see. The Ottomans pieced out with the Italians. And the Italians got pieces of Libya. Hmm. Actually, what are the Italians up to? Which side are they going with? Agree with opposition? Let's see, grab that, grab that. That'd be good. Become a spy master? Yeah, we must get another spy. Might as well, my friends. So, agree with... What, what is that? Emperor Maiji is dead. Glory to the Emperor. Destroy radical opposition. Italian patriotism. London Pact. War with Austria. Huh, London Pact. They did not choose that. So they went with agree with opposition. So it's becoming more of a democracy. Ah, they can create their own faction. They create the Rome Pact. Interesting. So Italy's going independent, which is very cool to see. Roman Pact with the Greeks. Huh. Punish the Ottomans. Well, can't say I didn't see that one coming. Coup in Serbia. Is this the birth of a new hegemon? Uh, Serbia, are you okay? Especially during a time of... Oh, you call it a great Serbia. Mm, let's go with passive defense. You never know. I want to see, oh, it's, oh, the Tree of London, the Balkan League is victorious, Bulgaria's looking pretty good, and they might go to war with each other soon enough. Oh, look, a linguist, Thomas Edward, wait, why do we get Thomas Edward Lawrence? Come, he's Arabian and British, okay, well, I'll gladly take you, man. Cool, this is definitely turning very interesting. 
Uh, Electrostal. Yes, bonus for electronics and a civilian factory. Yes, please. Thank you. And we're working on another spa. I don't really want to look at Surrey. What? Uh, is the Balkan League still here? It is. That's unfortunate. Oh, Radomir Putnik. Uh, to be honest with you, I have no idea who this guy is. Integration into Dalmatia. So, oh, they, instead of the Balkan, no, they went with the Balkan League. No, they still. Oh, so they must have went this way. But they're called Great Serbia. Balkan League status of Montenegro, partition of Bulgaria, form of Balkan. Oh, I like. I gotta play Serbia sometime. Ah, yeah, there's that, that. Integration gains cores, gain cores. Liberate Illyrian region. This is turning very interesting. Quite interesting. Let's go ahead and grab last stamp. More organization, less out of supply. Better supply grace. Got a little bit of army XP, and we want to make these Cossacks huge. Huge. There we go. In low cost guns, whatever. That's okay. Uh, what are garrisons all like? Oh, crud. I should not have done that. Uh, I made that mistake yesterday. Go ahead and duplicate that so we don't forget that. Go ahead and do that. I mean,. Actually, that's not bad. This could be... I did. That's technically not a mistake. What I'm thinking about, just because... You can use any size... Uh, group... To... Uh, cover yourself. And any size group. Any size of division doesn't really matter. Oh, uh, you got a lot of benefits. So we'll do that. I want to see what the Austrians are up to. Go to Vienna. You guys stay there. Linguist Commando. It's probably not smart to send you here, but whatever. Let's see what happens. So, what are the Germans up to? I don't know this part of the focus tree where Germans have gone democratic. Strike from the shadows. Help Russian revolutionaries organize an armed insurrection as soon as Russia weak weakens. Son, Russia isn't going to weaken. It's time for Lenin to die. Strike the Entente. So, they can still become very aggressive. Oops, my bad. We have a research slot here that I'm not using. That's my bad. Marines sound like fun, but what about carriers? Do we use carriers and battleships? I don't know how long we're going to be playing this campaign. But that sounds like a lot of fun. We don't have the dockyards for it, but that's okay. Yeah, we definitely want more of this. Get much more artillery. Artillery is so important. Super important. Sui, super, super, super important. Uh, throw some torpedoes because we can. Anything here? Anything here? Nope. That's fine. You're good to go. Come to... Not Odessa. St. Petersburg. That is the place. Turn battleship hull. Uh, we did want battle cruisers. Nothing there. Heavy batteries, secondary batteries. I'm throwing on the secondary batteries because even though they still lower our max speed, they don't lower as much as heavy batteries, so that's kind of good. Go do that. Go do that. We'll never get there probably. And just in case, throw another one on. And then throw on these guys real quick. Let them go on a little bit. Uh, there you go. Electrostyle. Cool. Grab some of that. Good. And next focus. Extension of the Pulitov factory. Good. Might as well get that done right now. Next up, we shall do... Uh, I could do that. Armor. I'd like tank designer. Hmm. 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 Well, might as well grab that for now. That's fine with me. Let's go back to focusing on our great battleship hull. Save. So many super heavy... Cannons, secondary batteries, secondary batteries, secondary batteries. This this guy's gonna be so slow. Fifteen. Oh, and there goes Bulgaria. Nice. The second Balkan War. Ah, oh, here we go again. That's a lot of attack. That's really incredibly slow though, which is kind of not great, but whatever. And then fill it out with that one, just because we need a tons, tons and tons of screens for where we're going. Ottoman Empire declared war on them. Everyone hates Bulgaria. It must suck playing as Bulgaria. Well, then again, Bulgaria should not be attacking other people like that. But whatever. Whatever. Go ahead and help, help them out. It's fine for now. I don't think I can send volunteers to them. Which is fine with me. Set, start Lend Lease. Send Attaché. Integration into Bosnia. Cool. Give it up, guys. You're doing well. I really want to go to war with Persia, though, but we can't. Oh, they're allied with the Germans and the Austro-Hungarians. Fleet and being very good. It's almost 1913, which means what? Uh, for now, we can probably grab some of that. We might... Nah, we're probably not going to grab field hospitals. And Judy Bucharest, peace at last. Bulgaria. You actually didn't lose as much as I thought you would. You lost 
East Macedonia. You lost Eastern Thrace. You lost South Dobrugia, or however you pronounce that. But you still got... You still not bad. Hmm. I'm going to need a border, an army around these guys. Hmm. What are the Ottomans doing? Because they also have ways they can go whatever they, way they really want. Provide justice between officers? That's not bad. United and ready. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, unitary reforms. And then they have this massive, it looks massive, tree where they can do different things. Cool. And then we shall do that. Passive defense. Thank you. Next up we shall do... Treaty 3 Emperors. We'll wait to do that later. Uh, ooh. Research electronic speed or industrial synthetics. German capital adds one off map military factory, adds two out civilians. Uh, you know what? We'll go with Nobel Partnership just because, even though we like, we don't hate the Germans, they're still German, you know. They're still German. Let's see. We could, we could do that, but eh. Oh, we can actually get this, so we might as well wait. Nice. Building up these factories. Three, four lines, even as we're getting some more. Uh, agency branches, that's pretty darn good in my opinion. Now, we have garrisons here, take that off and actually replace it with military police, so now you have a lot of garrison support. There you go. See, no mistakes here. No mistakes here. There you go. That's better. That's so much better. Oh, look at that. 87%. The Finns love us. I love the Finns. Uh, go and grab a carrier hole because we can, even though we'll probably never make it. That's okay. You know what, for now, since it's 1913, let's throw on... One line of military factories, because we could really use them. We need to get more artillery, way more guns, bomb... Eh, I guess like bomber airships, but whatever. Passive defense, cool. Oh, even more passive defense. Is anyone trying to spy on us? I can't really tell. Where's our capital? Is it really St. Petersburg? It is St. Petersburg. Okay, now we can see it. No, no one's spying on us, which is you know, good for us. Good for us. We've got enough political power. Let's go ahead and grab you. Thank you, Nobel Partnership. Yes. Yeah, we're really turning into an alliance, mostly with the UK. We don't really care about France that much at all. Oh, look, a friend Romania. Interesting. France? All right, all right. America, what are you up to? Building things. Okay. All right, well, whatever. Greece exists. It, okay, what are you up to right now? Suffragette demonstrations. What's next? Caproni. Is that, like, Basta? No, oh. Tactical bombers. Good choice, good choice. Partisan, civilian economy, very good, very good. Quickly trying to decrypt Austro Hungarian thingamabobs. Uh, you know what? Get rid of that, get rid of that. Those are garbage. Nobel Partnership, next up we shall do. I really like doing that though. British capital for more, two more civilian factories. We are building, building, building. The Russian people are industrious. Not bad, not great, but not bad. And how is the military coming along? We are not making a single division yet. Hmm. We're going to need a lot more than this. So, you guys are going to be kind of like on the western front. Well, I'm going to have to... Ooh, Mexico declared war in Mexico. Nice. I love it when Mexico hurts itself in its confusion. Let's see if we go over here. Give me ten. We might need to focus on Asia a little bit. You never know what might happen over in Asia. You never know. And we need excavation two, civilian economy, good army depot. Got Russia's... I'm really enjoying this, because, you know, we're just kind of hanging out, having a good time, having a laugh, having a good, you know, just just enjoying ourselves. That's all we're doing. Just enjoying ourselves. And we're going to need to put engineers on these guys before we're done. You guys have engineers, but y'all don't. So, we're going to need engineers for more digging. Chief of Arby, Denikin. A oh, Kornilov at 8% is not bad. Speed is not bad. Brusilov. The recovery rate's okay. Oh, look, you get a little, uh, biography of him. Well, not really biography, just telling everyone what he owns. He owns a lot. He owns quite a bit. Can't get him there yet. RB Depot. Good, good, good. Can't go to extensive conscription yet. Not yet. Oh, this is gonna... Oh, yeah. That guy is... <clears throat> yeah, we need that. 50% more defense on infantry, 10% more attack. Aw, oh, yeah. Maintenance company's nice. 13. Even better torpedoes might be good to do. We don't really have an Air Force either. Go ahead and grab those guys. We'll probably need them. 
focus and disperse uplet. You might as well. It's already 1913. You never know who might start World War One, or even if even if there will be a World War One. We don't know. Uh, let's grab this. We're gonna throw you guys right there for now. We'll throw you right there. Build two. Start hanging up some of these 40 places, and then, you know what? Build one of those. You know what? Build two of those. We could use a few more dockyards, really. British capital, very good. North Caucasus oil basin, so we can remove a Garen Empire and get 10% more consumer goods and factories. And then, research slot, yes, please. I love the fuel. Oh, 99 curious, not bad. Uh, let's see, over here, hangar space. Get some hangar space, which means we're gonna put armor here. I always like putting just a little bit of armor here, just in case screens might attack us, which they might, they might not. It just makes me feel a little bit more secure knowing that we have, you know, it's not much. Battleships will easily be able to pierce our armor, but against destroyers, we should do okay. Against uh, light cruisers, we might also be okay, depending on the construction of light cruisers. Oh, another one. Ah, oh, smooch, smooch. Kaboom, or hurt me mama. Hmm, I'm gonna hurt me mama. Nice. And you're gonna stay there, but you are gonna come over to somewhere. We'll do that area. There you go. 100%. I mean, that's pretty good already. Can we learn anything about Austria Hungary? Infiltrate. Yes. You know what? I never do this. Let's infiltrate the army. Repeat. Uh, we just sent. Uh, well, we don't send her. Well, it doesn't matter, actually, really. Nice. See what happens. I don't know. I almost never do anything with intelligence except learning about what the enemy has. So. It is what it is. Good. I do definitely want some fighters. Doing better on artillery. Once we get another factory here. Oh, cypher's done. Nice. Great job, guys. Just in case, we, we might need a cypher for the uh, Ottomans. You know, you know, you know, you can't really trust the Ottomans too much. You really can't. Did we lose 3% war support? It might be because rule tension's probably still going down. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Not bad, though. So, Germany, what are you up to? Can we figure out what you're doing? South? South administration. Is this for decolonizing? It might be. Ah. West Af Africa in general. UK. German Confederation. Last stand. Nice. So, numerical excellence doctrine. We've got to make a choice here. Mass mobilization or front organization. Mass mobilization is, like I said yesterday, as more akin to the mass assault doctrine in Vanilla Hoy 4. I love the population. Cavalry recovery rate. Nothing for infantry there. Nothing for infantry. You get 10% ten, ten or 10 more organization. Planning speed, max speed, planning. All you get for infantry is 10 more organization, but front organization, you get way better recovery rate. A little bit of organization already. Even more organization. More soft attack and organization. This makes your infantry stronger. As Russia, we might not need manpower. As long as we can increase conscription to this, we should be okay. Service by requirement. Hmm. Supply consumption goes down, which I love a lot. I really want to use my cavalry a lot, though. Hmm. You do get more soft attack here. Wait. That's just a 10% more soft attack. You recover faster. You know what? We'll do a sacred war, because we can. Oh, wait, hold on. There's Cameroon. Ah, Cameroon and Togo. Oh, look at that flag. Oh, I got an elephant on it. What about Alphonse Fuda? Very interesting. And then we have the to Tongolese or Togo. Interesting flag. North Caucasus oil basin. Nice. Now we're going to grab complete agrarian reforms. Yes. And we get so much industrial power. Or much more industry. Namibia is here. Wow. Is that an ox? Justus Gerub. Wow. Uh, good job, Germany, I guess. I don't know. Good job. Uh, go there, go there. More military, a few more military factories. Now, we won't have the industry like Germany, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's trade with the UK. It's only one factory, and that'll be fine. Chief of the Army. Yeah. Going to love. More organization would be nice. November. 1913. 
Keep letting time go on. Are we doing anything here? It doesn't look like it. Blueprint stealing. Commando training. And Mexico is gone. It capitulated to Mexico. Good job, Mexico. Now the Mexican Federation is here. South America is just kind of hanging out. France, what are you up to? Political efforts. They're still in the Entente. Ah, they completely avoided the issue of Itali Italy and their expansionist ideals. Interesting. Ah, they support the UK. They don't like us. Okay. Republic's authority. Contest the Republic's authority. They still have a chance to go communist. I kind of hope they do. That'd be kind of interesting to see. And Mexico is once again killing itself. All right, well, whatever. Austria, Hungary, what are you doing? Arme over commando. They're still guaranteed by Italy, and they're still guaranteeing Italy. Nice, I like this. Go and grab more construction speed. That'd be great. Great, 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 great. Can no longer infiltrate because we've already completed that. Nice. Awesome. And civilian. Military blueprints. Advances of ground warfare. Well, I've never done this. Let's try it out. There's a mission. Bop, bop, bop. Excellent chance. I love excellent chances. Yeah, this get completed pretty darn quickly. God dang. God dang, son. God dang. You'll do that. And then you do that. 40, 40. Uh, you can also do this area. It doesn't really matter. I could increase the infrastructure around here, too, but we'll see what happens. And then you guys will do that, 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 and that. And then eventually we will build up the infrastructure around here. It might be good to build up infrastructure around Poland. Even the, the Poles are very hardworking, industrious. So we might need to give them that. It might help them out. And I wonder if we get the event where we can move our capital from St. Petersburg to Moscow. That'd be kind of nice. That would be actually very nice. Romania, yeah, Romania needs to be taken out. The Bellis Trials. The world has been closely following the Jewish pogroms in Russia. The foreign press was shocked after what happened in Belarus, Odessa, and in the number of areas of the Pale Settlement. So, Pale of Settlement. Once again, the Jewish question is in the spotlight of Russia and the entire civilized society. Tradesman Mendel Bellis is accused of committing a ritual murder of a Russian child, and despite the groundlessness of the evidence presented, he can be punished. However, a private investigation proves Bellis' innocence and believes that the murder of the child was disguised as a mystical ritual so that no one would find out the true motives of the unknown criminal. Court decision can cause new pogroms in Russia, but also completely ruin international authority. The press is waiting for the results of the trial. Justify. He's guilty. Um. Hmm. You know we got enough. We'll, we'll justify. Why not? We'll justify. Just because we can. Hit, we can take the hit. Don't mind me. I'm just a simple guy who likes building roads. Just loves building roads. Whee! And I'm completely ignoring the Asian side of Russia, so don't, don't, don't tell me that. I already know. I already know. I'm ignoring it. Even though China would probably be a kind of difficult to get. Uh, let's, let's get at least one way to connect over here. You know, fairly quickly. Build up one railway, please. Thank you. Ah, yes. Look at that mammoth construction. So many roads. And I do need to increase the size of my, of, of our cavalry. That'll be good. The size of that right there. Da, 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 da. I wonder if, if Germany really is going to go to war with me, because we really don't know at this time. So the next tech we're going to research is engineers, because well, engineers are great and needed. Good, good, nice. That's pretty much the entire Russian Empire told to build itself. Good. Actually, horses, you, you coast guards, you guys could probably train. No, you guys are all good. Nice. Oh yeah, you need full. Oh. Definitely need more guns. Artillery's good. At this point, we gotta go like this. We're making even some Hurtley fighters. Nice, some motorized. Not bad, not bad. Cruiser holes coming along. Complete Agarian reforms. Awesome. And let's get public education. Absolutely. We need public education here. Yeah, you know what? Do that. That'd be important. Build, build, build. Five slots. Amazing, amazing. Oh, we get trenches too. Yeah, come on, let's research things quickly. Come on, fighters. Construction, let's finish off. Come on. Good. Resources. Ooh, that's pretty important. Let's grab this for so. That'd be nice to get, but we don't really need that yet. Get some more resource efficiency gain so we can start spending some of our political power on upgrading our ability to get stuff. Get more resources. Because even though we don't need it now, we might need it later on. Not 
We're really focusing on military factories now and a couple dockyards for the most part. Contain. Oh, oh wait. Contain. Yeah. Contain them. Finally going down that path. Equipment effort. Develop infrastructure in Asia. Spirit of Resorgimento. Ah, oh, so they must have went with their own way. Italian volunteers. Packed. Cool. And Ottomans. By German Albatross fighters. Cool. I wish you could see what they were doing over there, but whatever. Uh, anything over here? Not really. Anything for this? Air superiority. This seems pretty good. Kazakov. Now, someone also told me in the comments below. Trust me, that's not really great. That uh, do not give up any territory because that will increase the chances of a couple bad guys rising up. So I'm gonna try my best not to rise up too much. You know, too much. Oh, your stability not looking good. Uh, that's a case. You know what? I know we put it in here somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the There's the roads. Uh, actually, there you go. Nice. Recon Company 2s. Good. Nice. Very good. Public education. And we have finally, in 1914, achieved a feat that other Western nations have also accomplished in their time. And that includes public education. Good. Now we can focus on other stuff. I've completely ignored all of this stuff, which is probably not good, to be honest with you. Probably not very good. Uh, before we do anything else, let's do some military exhibitions before any sort of war breaks out. France, Belgium, UK gets military exhibition in St. Petersburg. Nice, finally another research slot. Oh, can we get this yet? No, it's a little bit ahead of time. Get some better guns. Oh, Mosin Nagant's M1907s. That's cool. Definitely working on this. Good, good, good. Throw on these guys, because we need them. Recon companies. We could throw on this, but this requires armory cards that we don't have. So this is probably the most important thing to do right now. Good. Wow, that killed my support equipment. Straight up murdered it. Wow. Do that first. Yeah, we need more guns. And Rep China's having, you know, an identity crisis once again. Wouldn't be China without it. I love it. Cool. I was thinking that we had to research something else as well. Oh, that's right. Armored cars. Get the Austin. Is I don't think Austin is a Russian name. I could be wrong about that, but it doesn't sound really Russian to me. Interrogation techniques, good. Some invisible ink, that's fine. So, where do we... Let me look at the boxes real quick. Treaty 3 Empress, which is good. Back to America. Colonial claims. I mean, that's nice. Liberation of the Balkans is in a faction of... With, okay. Uh, and You're not indivisible. Research speed. Yeah, we don't have any focuses to go to war with anyone. We're just going to wait until someone goes to war with us. Hmm. Which means Germany will eventually go to war with us, most likely. Probably, because these guys don't. They might manually go to war with us, and they have East Asia. So we have the Entente, Dutch East Indies, Central Powers over here, New Guinea, and then Special Flag. Wow, you do, do you really need a hat like that, pretty by, in a place that hot? I'm going to guess. I mean... He does himself, so I guess so. Uh, nice. Engineer's too good. Attrition speed naval. Uh, let's go with that one. That sounds, a, sounds more fun. Next up, we shall do better planes. Medium bombers. That's exactly what we could use. Medium bomberinos. Building up infrastructure. The KMT's down there. Not bad, not bad. Keep building, keep building. Supply consumption goes up. Actually, outdated railways doesn't even hurt you when you want to build more railways. Good, good. Military exhibitions. We could get that. To eventually get rid of that. Uh, we could wait. Let's go with Treaty 3 Emperors. Let's see what happens there. Sounds like fun. Russia Empire is influencing our politics. Then we'll go with United and Indivisible, just so that we can get some maybe white generals, even though there was no rebellions. You know, make sure that they like us a little bit more. Oh, Italy. Look at Italy changes color. Fiat Giovanni Gioletti. So they have gone their own way. They are now a lighter green, and they're in their own pact with the Greeks. Well, that's interesting. Can I justify on the Ottomans? Can I justify on anyone? Uh, 
please let me just find someone. I might have to manually have someone just to find someone else so we can start World War One, probably, just because things aren't looking great. The Sacred War, good, good. Let's get some more organization and, and elastic defense. That is good stuff. Gun-wise, it's not looking great, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Artillery is looking pretty good, actually. Horses. Oh, you're the garrisons, but we need you guys for this. You're still not quite 40 combat width, which is okay. You guys are still probably suffering from attrition, or not. But you're doing better. It's 1914. Ooh, Serbia. Serbia, huh. Oh, friends, Ferdinand is dead. God rest his soul. Friendship with... There you go. Hmm. 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 I don't think we have enough divisions here. I really don't. Because these guys got to defend over here. And then these guys got to take out these guys. But you know what? We could... Let's do it like this. You guys... are actually going to come right here. Actually, you know what? All the armies against... Austrians and the Germans, because I'm gonna split you guys in half. Because I'm not, I'm not gonna split the generals. Uh, you guys both come under some new dude named Pavel. Wow, that is seems a little too modern for me, but you know whatever. Uh, Aggressive assaulter, that's good. Offensive, good. Recovery rate, good. You guys come over here. Mostly just hold. That'll probably be the big old main idea. Get over there. Cool, because Persia is in their alliance. Uh, and we will use Alexei. Friendship with Russia sounds kind of dangerous, but that's okay. You never know. And hopefully Romania joins us on our side if we get involved in the war, which would be a very good thing. What's going on? What's going on? Uh oh, start mobilization. Fer Franz Ferdinand Matter. The esteemed Archduke of Austria Est and the Crown Prince of the Austro-Hungarian Empire lies dead. His noble wife rests beside him. Prince Joseph has lost another heir, and to the damned vile sons of bastards that are the Serbians. The Serbian government officially denies involvement with the assassin Gavrilo Princip, blaming the Black Hand, though few believe a lack of government involvement. Ready, Bink? I'm joining with my cat Binky too. Come on. More? Oh, guarantee? Yes, please. It's just a casual mobilization. Good. European crisis. I'm glad I moved my soldiers around, even though they're, they're really not ready. We really ain't ready for a great war right now, and that's okay. Bing Bing, you okay? Come on. Come on, Bing. You want to cause a great war, Bing, or be the defenders against the great war? Treaty of the Three Emperors. Alright, cool. Uh, United and Indivisible, we might need that, so... Hmm. Infantry weapons. Is there anything important here? Land auction stuff. And eh, we can wait. That can all wait. Return of the King. Colonial claims. We'll go with United and Indivisible. Just because that sounds like a good idea to do now. Ah, Mosin Nagats, which we're not going to use for quite a while because we can't afford it. Let's edit our motorized divisions eventually. And now we can do this stuff too. Nice. European Crisis. Ah. Very nice. Um. I'm going to say no. I, I want to get into the conflict with you guys, so. It seems like we'll probably go to war anyways. Portable radios, nice. And partisans. So, the central parts are over there, over there. We should be okay over here. Well, we'll see what happens. Serbia refused Austrian demands. Uh, led to declaration of war, with which will no doubt be followed by countless others. Here begins a downward spiral into World War. Dear God, what have we done? We've done a great thing. Now we should focus on more military factories for guns. Hmm, should have done that earlier. Oh well. There you go. Plenty of military factories. Oh, they declared war on Montenegro. Okay, okay. Now just Montenegro. But yeah, that's fine. Now the Germans will also get called into war. We'll see what happens. And it's a world war. Yes, would you like to join? And they are attacking us like crazy. But what else is new? Let's see. You guys, definitely we need to increase your size. Mountaineers, mountaineers. Actually, you know what? We'll make this one with artillery. Oh, we can't afford that. That would put us over a special form system limit. What the heck? War assassination. Montenegro joined the allies. 
They might be able to break us in a few areas, maybe. Maybe not. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Just hold the line as best you can, Abram. Cameroon. Oh, oh, there goes those guys. Uh, we got Ottomans done. Nice. The Germans are next. Only 200 days. Nice. So, now we should probably get some war propaganda. That'd be kind of good. Anything else? European crisis is completed. And we can raise a conscription. That's good being on the same side. Sergei, well, you're definitely learning stuff. Is it? I doubt anyone has... Oh, well, hold on. Brusilov. Seems pretty important to me. Austin, cool. 1914. We can't get that yet. We need tank prototype designs, which is over here. Well, not over here, but really over here. More research speed, 1%. Yes, please. We'll do that eventually. Austin looks cool. That looks cool. Uh, maybe we should stop training our ships, maybe. Uh, go home. Hopefully they can't break our lines, which would be good. Come over there. That'd be good. Kind of hang out, repair, you know, opening the Panama Canal. And the Germans are not attacking us, which is eh, fine with me. They're probably attacking the... Well, they're defending against the French. Hmm. Oh, the Serbs are actually... Are they pushing in? They pushed in a little bit. Nice. Oh, Austrians. You had a choice. You chose poorly. Very poorly. Show that for appropriation. Emergency war act. Renamed St. Petersburg. Yeah, a new name for St. Petersburg. It's more sport. Nice. St. Petersburg, the glorious capital of Imperial Russia, has long been, has long had a prestigious history. However, its Russian name of St. Petersburg has too much German influence. Petrograd, conversely, is as Russian as fish pierogi, uh, pierogil. Cool. Hopefully, the new name will catch on. Nice. Battalion of Death. That looks cool. More than 50% war support. Ah. No, no, no. They don't, people don't need independence. No upgrades yet, which is fine with me. Just defend for now, even though we have a big old lack of supplies. That's okay, whatever, whatever. Lack of equipment. The Germans aren't attacking, so don't worry. And, you know, maybe we shouldn't train these guys at the same time. Maybe we really shouldn't train these guys. Maybe the cavalry should do something about this. Maybe I should have paid a little bit more attention over here. Maybe I should have done that. That's my bad. I'm glad I remembered to look at this, though. Could you capitulate them if you go to Tehran? Hmm. Well, that sucks. Well then. Uh, we'll figure this out tomorrow. So, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I guess I'll see you all tomorrow. As we will we'll keep going in this great war. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.